All right, y'all. We uh are outside the day after. We caught all those, all these, all these red snapper, the the shark, the blue runner that we're gonna be using for bait, for shark bait, hopefully soon. And uh, you see this little spade fish that we caught the day before we went on the jetties, but. This is the monster right here. My dad, Captain Irish Cup. It's that big boy, the biggest one. One of the biggest one that we've caught. We also caught this one. And these are the two I caught. Decent size snapper. And this is a Atlantic Sharp Nose. I know it's Atlantic Sharp Nose. Get real close on it. You can see the little spots on there. See that? Especially, you can see this one right here. See that spot right there? Uh, Blue Runners. Uh, this is just gonna be cut up, chunked up, and then to bigger little baits for, for a shark. Hopefully I can catch one day. And then this is a little spade fish. Spade fish are good. Here in Texas, we can keep we can keep them at any size. So, um, what we're gonna be using today, we're gonna be using our Dexter knife. Dexter knife, if I'm not mistaken, this is the 10 inch. Uh, this is the, what is it, Coastal? Coastal uh, Hawkeye blade. And as you've seen before, we'll be using our Fisker. There we go. Our Fisker cutters, these are just uh, plant cutters. Cutting up those, those uh, especially for this big guy right here. We'll be using them for that one, and uh, probably these smaller ones as well. But we're gonna get everything off. We're getting, we're gonna get the throat off. We're gonna get fillets off. We're gonna get backbone. And if we can, a lot of people don't know. I can show you a little better on this one. But we're gonna try to pull it on all of them. I'm gonna try to do. It. Sorry for the play, but you can see how soft this is right here. All this right here, how soft it is. That is meat. Uh, you know when you think about a halibut? Halibut have cheek. They have cheek meat. And we're gonna try to get the cheek meat out of all these snapper here. Uh, but let's get them back in the cooler. Uh, let's get going, all right? All right, so we got this big boy of a snapper. First thing I like to do is get some water on them. Rinse them off good so they don't have too much slime on them. Uh, they have been on ice, so try to get all the, any slime, so. All right, now that she's cleaned off really well. We're going in with the, with the Hawkeye blade. Hawk, hawk claw blade, so I say. I keep calling the Hawkeye, but. And just like any other fish, we're gonna get it right under those. We're gonna get right under those fins. Don't follow the head all the way around. And like I said, guys, we're getting we're getting all the meat off these bad boys today. What I like to do is, just like any other fish, find that backbone, follow it down. Follow that, follow that down. And we just follow that backbone the best we can. So we're getting everything off today. We're going, we're doing everything we can. We're getting rib cage, we're getting backbone. I mean, we might not be much on the backbone when I'm done, but we're getting everything off, all right? So, 
Y'all can see that. Rubber nose and spine now. And uh, try to go on the other side. Just like I do any other fish. Once I get past that, that rib cage. Sorry if we're shaking a lot. say get your cutters let's go ahead and cut this all the way so we can see what we're doing a lot better all the way up when we got our cut we can lift this fillet up trying to make sure y'all can see everything that I'm doing today Sometimes I go a little quick, but y'all can always hear that. That's just the rib cage. I mean, these boys are big. Bigger the fish, bigger the bones. Sometimes the bigger the tools. Get off in here. Make sure everything's cut. It's loose. Make sure we get over here. By this head meat. Attaches to the. our first fillet right there all right now how we do things put that meat side down and also when you're filleting any of these snapper that's any snapper these right here they call the gill plate these things are razor sharp it's part of their protection um, so make sure you don't cut that or get cut by it Caught. Uh, so, same thing. And these holes right here are where they gaffed it. Had to hit it twice. Get it off there. That's our second fillet. Alright, and then this is the Fun part of fun part of it all. Let's cut all these fins off because this is part of the throat. And I always try to get as close to that meat as possible. And this is why I always tell everybody you need, you need a good pair of shears if you're gonna keep different parts of the fish especially like the the throat and all that because there's parts of these fish that they're harding they're, they're old older fish i want to call it that not exactly the easiest thing to cut if you just have a knife. I'm gonna go up that 
set it up so we'll flip that bad boy over. Go up here and cut this down off. Sorry for this. Let me get this off for you for everybody. And doesn't want to see this. We'll cut this out. So, I uh, told y'all, I already cut this side. So we got the guts out of the way. Sorry about that. So what we're gonna do is, so we did the other side. Cut that, cut that right there. And we're gonna free it from the gills. And the head, so. Cut right along the gills area. And this is what I'm talking about. Cut it right along here. Try to open it up so you can see, but yeah, it's not that hard. But yeah, you just cut along that gill area right there, and this throat just pops out just like so. smaller fish but it's a big boy so and there's our our throat got our throat what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this in the middle and then we're gonna uh, actually fillet it as much as we can get all these scales and everything off and then for everything else so we're doing backbone as well not much meat on it. I tried to get everything I could, but there's still meat on it, so. Cut that off from the head. Got a fish. There we go. Got backbone. That top side is kind of see through, but. There's meat down there. Instead of having all these fins. A lot of times once you get past the fin area, you can slice it down through the meat. With this top side one. Head out the way, staring at y'all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all that. Put this down. Some people don't like to tell, but because this is my dad's fish, Captain Hire's fish, he might want that tail. So uh, I leave it on there. He can do with it as he will, as he wants. And uh, that's pretty much how you clean it. Now you can go, you can always double back because all fish have. Uh, this bloodline in here. What you do is you get this. You usually just clean it out with your finger. Just like so. Kind of like bone marrow, if you will. You just clean it out with your finger. And once you get it all loose and everything. Once you get it all loose, it usually just pulls out. It's all attached to each other. But other than that, that is a backbone ready to go. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. There's a cheek 
on both of these sides. So what you want to do is find the edge of it. taking the cheek out of the snapper so there we go this will be my first cheek out of a snapper so bear with me cheek of the snapper there's meat all over a snapper so a lot of people like snapper and all of that is the muscle of the fish might even have missed a little bit under there but that's the cheek we're gonna flip it over do the other side snapper completed red snapper we got all the way to the head um, we got the cheek meat up both sides um, there's nothing really else on this fish I mean, you could probably boil it down and get the rest of the meat out but that's that's a done deal for us um, let's go ahead and get these fillets done get to everything else afterwards now what I like to do is because we're gonna be saving rib cage today I like to go ahead and just cut that rib cage out this is how I do things and then we'll fillet that off and then we're gonna get our our beautiful Dexter I use the Dexter for filleting and getting the technical pieces off because one is my favorite knife and it takes everything off. Alright? It takes everything off. Here's our first there's our first fillet. Um, we didn't get to bleed this fish because we're on we were on the dolphin dock, so that's another thing we our deep sea fishing trip was on the dolphin docks. Um, and uh, I would recommend them. It is $170 as of right now for snapper seasons. I don't know if it changes after snapper season goes up or go down. But I do know uh, the staff there, they're awesome. They got us on the boat in a timely manner. We had to check in, we had to get there at 5 to check in and everything, and um, after we checked in, they left promptly at 6. Everything was was ready, set up, they provided, I mean, you could bring your own rods, but they provided rods, reels, bait, everything for you. Um, deck hands were awesome. Uh, you'll see them in the video for this. 
But, yeah. Go we'll check them out if you get a chance. There we go. Got our second fillet off. So again, I use my dexters to fillet. And get anything, clean everything up. So, just like so. everything up that's what this dexter is for they have a bigger dexter if you're looking for a bigger dexter for uh, more bone bony fish or cutting through bones they do have a bigger dexter they have a smaller dexter as well i just like this one because that's everything i need so once again get everything off and uh we'll clean this up a little later um we got the cheap meat. Let's find us a little spot that we can dive into really quick. Cut that off. Huh? Cheap meat out. Well, that's just a piece of meat, guys. Uh, that's the craziest thing about it. It's just a meat, just a piece of meat. Um, I'm sure a lot of people miss it on the fish. Sure didn't want to miss it, especially spending $170. There we go. Got cheek meat out. And, uh, let's get this throat done up. So I'll go down the middle. All the way down to the bone. You'll hear that. I don't know if you can. And got the fan blowing at a lower. If you cut that down the middle. Break it, open that up, just like so. There's two ways you can do this. You can either find, you can either start over here, but a lot of the times you miss a lot of the meat. Not the meat, but the skin. If you start over here, but it works out, it helps out. When you go to clean that fish up. cleaning this up so, so. so you're gonna miss stuff especially with the throat it's not a flat piece of meat at all it's stuff that you gotta go around bone wise play with it and figure out what's the best angle for that, that area. Sometimes it has bones in the area that are in the way. Sometimes it's easy to get to. It really just depends on how well you, you know how to clean your, that throat. But not my first throat I clean. It's just the nature of the beast. You just Sometimes it comes out easy, sometimes it doesn't. This is actually fairly easy to throw because of 
the size, easier to get to different things. And uh, that's pretty much it. bones just uh some skin on top of the bone you can always clean that up if you want to clean this up some more down here of course but this is pretty much a cleaned up throat we got rib cage we got cheeks and we got some fillets all right that is how you clean a yeah, uh, a red snapper uh, you know how we do things here we always want to uh, show you the best way to do things please if you have any comments let me know in the in the comment section please always like subscribe comment hit that notification button and that's all I got for you but you know how we do things here as always keep fishing real